Today on Make It Mine, we meet Brookdale resident Peggy Gallant. As a 96-year-old, Peggy's lived through the Depression and World War II and finds her strength and kindness towards others. I always try to be kind to people. That's important in life. When I was in school, I wanted to be an actress. I'm a ham. I got married instead. My husband was the love of my life, the best thing that ever happened to me. I have wonderful children. They're awfully good to me. They're so good to me. And they visit me every week. The furniture in Peggy's apartment is secondhand that she's inherited over the years, so she'd love to have some newer, brighter pieces that reflect her sunny personality. Designer Stephanie Acevedo is a self-proclaimed maximalist who's all about infusing color and character. This is going to be a night and day transformation. You look so, so nice cute. Yes, you. I love this outfit Thanks. and your shoes. Come Thank on you. in and let's get out of the cold. You're gonna love Peggy. She is so sweet. I'm coming. Good morning, ladies. Hi, Peggy. Peggy. Welcome to my Thank apartment. You. Come yes. on in. Thank you. Thank you for having us today. It's my pleasure. I love all the blue and the green in here. Blue is my favorite. Color. I see. I dressed appropriately. Yes, you <laughs> yes, did. You did. Well, Peggy, thank you for inviting us in. My pleasure. Happy to have you. Yes, I'm so happy to meet you. And this is Stephanie. Hey, She's going to be your designer today. Great. I've got some ideas for you. Oh, you're, you're already ready. <laughs> I would like it updated. This Update. furniture is not my style. Okay. But it's very sturdy, but it's not my style. Pretty much, I'm gonna let me give you free reign. But I don't. I'm not a tan person. Although, look who's saying. Me neither. I know. Yeah, tan. No, I like colors. I like colors. Okay. As you can tell, I'm a blue person. I love blue. So any color blue is fine with me. And I like to dress up. I, it's important to me to to look good and feel good. I like that motto. Yeah, I it's do. It's really important. And I see you have some wonderful photos of your family. I had six children, seven grandchildren. Oh my and goodness. I have also great grandchildren. So many so I've kind of lost track. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have to preserve that. That's my military family. The top box is my husband's medals that he won during the Second World War. That was very precious to us. Well, we'll make sure that I'm sure you can yes. incorporate that into the design. For sure, Thank yes, you. I will yeah. make sure. Can you tell me a little bit about your husband's boxing career? I hear that he was a professional boxer. Yes, he was. I think his record was like something 34 out of 36, something wow. like that. He was like very fast. See, that's why they couldn't catch him. Yeah. I watched him box once, and that's not for me. I didn't mm -hmm. care. For, I don't care for boxing. <laughs> but he was very good at it. That's so cool. That must he, have been really cool an amazing guy. accomplishment. He was a great guy. Yeah. He really was. I like making friends. I go out of my way to be nice to people. Aww. I think that's so important. Yeah, you're so welcoming and friendly. Of course they're going to be I try to be. Yeah. That's important in life. What's your horoscope? Oh, I'm a Scorpio. I'm Taurus. The bull. A Taurus. My but Scorpio and Taurus are supposed to be best friends. Is that right? Yeah. Well, so we're going to get along today then. <laughs> well, I think Stephanie has a lot to work with. and. You're not even gonna recognize this when we come back later. Well, that's fine with me. Yeah. <laughs> the furniture in Peggy's studio is secondhand, so I'll bring in new, brighter pieces with cheerful pastels that reflect a Florida vibe. I'll also rearrange the furniture to balance the room out while creating more visual interest. Since Peggy's all about color, I'll add layers of print to bring her a fun, maximalist look. Hey ladies, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to work on Peggy's studio today and I have a great design plan for us. She already has such a great layout, but what we want to do is revamp her room. Are you guys ready? Yes. Awesome, let's do it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is move Peggy's bed from this side to this side. I am repositioning the furniture from the left side of the room to the right side of the room, especially because the TV was on the right side and it's a little bit of an eyesore, so we wanted to move that to the left. She did have a really nice space layout, um, so keeping that, just flipping it, just because her entryway is on the left side and I wanna make sure that the right side is gonna be the first thing that you see and then I'm really gonna play up the window with some really nice curtains because that you will see right when you walk in. Jokes, Peggy. I'm a ham. I you are, yeah. You're full of jokes. Yeah. 
thank you for sitting outside in My this pleasure. lovely love this, courtyard. It's nice out here, isn't it? Love the trees there, those must be at least a couple hundred years old. So I hear you like to spend time back here. Tell me about the tasks that you do back uh, here. My, one of my first jobs when I got here was to feed the birds out front. So oh. I do that every day. And do you tend to the flowers or any of the plants? I watch some of the flowers, water them, trim them back after they need it. I read three newspapers a day. You also like to do other puzzles, right? Oh yes, you jigsaw, like puzzles? Puzzles. Jigsaw? jigsaw puzzles. Yeah. Puzzle puzzles. And Sudoku. So, yeah, that's Sudoku. fun. Yeah. That's amazing. Do you want to tell me a little bit about your husband and your family? Tell me about how you guys met. Well, it was a double date. He had a friend and I had a friend. They set us up, so Aww. we went out to eat. From Aww. there on, it was love it. Just love. I love hearing that. That's such a beautiful photo. You look really at ease with each other. Yes. Like you're just yes. getting along, yes. enjoying each other's he company. Was, he was a great guy. Best thing that ever happened to me. And you were telling me earlier, what, one of the things that you're excited about, you know, the renovation is that all the furniture in your apartment isn't your style, that's right? That's right, that's right. And I don't like the dark colors. You don't like dark colors in Florida. No. You want light. Every color. I know. And like, see, like I'm yes, wearing absolutely. this, and you told me that you were wearing the same color yesterday. Absolutely. So we like the same things, yes. I think. Great yes. minds yes. think alike. Absolutely. Right? Agree with you. <laughs> Couldn't agree with you. More. And with our pants, too. We're matching yes, our absolutely. pants. And white shoes. Oh, you're right. Our white shoes. So. I've got some like that. Well, you're very fashionable, I think. I think so. so. you need a new apartment that's going to match well, your personality. I want to be up to date. You know, I'd like to be do my own thing. Mm hmm. Well, I love it. Thank you for sharing all these wonderful memories and photos of your family. I've been very lucky having yeah. a wonderful husband and wonderful children. They're so good to me. Well, I look forward to meeting them at the reveal oh, yeah, later you'll today. Love them. They're, yeah. they're talkative. They're like me. Yeah. Then we'll all get along. Yes, we'll we have will. lots to chat about. Yes, we will. Yes, thank you for coming. Glad you're here. So we are going to switch the TV from that side to this side. Challenge that I am having is I didn't realize that the TV was mounted to the TV console and there was no stand for it. So we had to get another wall mount. We also had to extend the TV wire to the other side of the room. I was a little bit worried that we weren't gonna be able to flip the room and my plan was gonna not work, but thankfully I had somebody to help me. Well, lighting makes such a difference. Oh, Ooh, it's okay. That's okay. I have plenty of accessories. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely went a little crazy with accessories. I love accessories, especially with the maximalist look. A maximalist is obviously opposite to a minimalist. We really like to use a lot of everything colors, patterns, textures, but in a way that it doesn't feel cluttered. So you have to be very strategic about it because there's certain colors that complement each other, some that don't. I think Peggy will like what I chose because not only did I bring in color, but I brought lots of patterns and fabrics and prints and textures. That's gonna really play up her personality and really kind of make it that maximalist look that we're going for. Look at this. Ooh, yum. They all look so delicious, don't I they? I know. Cherries and cream, cookies and cream, colossal brownies. Yum. Well, welcome to Sarasota Bakehouse, Peggy. We're so happy that you're here today. My pleasure. Yeah, I heard that you us. love to bake. I like to bake. But you're not so much cooking. I'm not a good cook. No. But my kids didn't starve, but I'm a baker more so. My husband loved cupcakes. Oh, what was his favorite? Classic chocolate. That's our most popular. So would you like to make one with us? Yes, I would. Excellent. Let's go ahead and do a chocolate. This is where the magic happens. That's where all the toppings All are. these fillings oh, and goodies. It's a buffet. It, it is. One a of each. Buffet of goodness. So you said you'd never used the piping bag before. No, I never have. So it's really fun. Do you want to try with the piping bag, Peggy? Sure. Oh. That's actually much better yeah, than my doing, first time. You're doing pretty good. It takes a lot of muscle. Yes, it does. It's a little harder than you think, isn't it? This is our cherry filling. Put a little bit of sauce. Oh, yes. You want to make sure to get all the goodies in there. Just a nice little swirl around with that. And I'm taking some red sanding sugar. Oh, look how pretty. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that that, looks so that good. could go out in our case. That's, I know. No, seriously, that's a beautiful cupcake. It looks great. You did a great job on that, Peggy. Look at that. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so Look much that. So very for welcome. showing so us much how fun. to. I know. You're a real pro, and you got the muscle to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Hey, Stephanie. 
Hey, Nina, how are you? Great, this looks awesome. Oh, thank you. I love all the color. It's just like so bright and cheerful. We're almost there, close to the finish line. Well, I will let you get back to it and I'm gonna go check on Peggy and we'll be back with her family shortly. Okay, perfect. 21.5, oh, cute. Oh, still looks so good. Okay, down some. The wall hanging that I'm putting in front of Peggy's recliner, it looks like an antique chinoiserie wallpaper. And I really loved it. And I really like how there are three different pieces. It kind of breaks up the room a little bit and actually makes the wall look a little bit bigger. Where did you get this mirror? It's fabulous. So I actually got this one donated by another interior designer in Charleston, Megan Moulton. The mirror is this beautiful mirror, the Halley mirror. I love it. She donated it to us. It was super sweet of her. It brings in kind of that wicker texture that I wanted to bring it into her room. Ta-da! Yeah. No, you just gotta clean it. <laughs> so I am painting boxing gloves for Miss Peggy because she told me about her husband and how he was a professional boxer. And I really wanted to do something special for her to put above the bed. I'm using colors that are gonna go with the room. I wanna tie in the pink that goes over the bed. The bedding is green and blue, so I think those colors will really complement each other. And I think it's a nice personal touch for her to remember her husband and all the memories they had when they were younger. I am most excited about the reveal. I hope she loves it. Interior design is very personal and she's very cheerful. She loves pastels, she loves color, and she's just so funny. I hope she's excited and that she's gonna really enjoy her new studio. Alrighty, I think I'm done. I'm so excited we're gonna show this to Peggy. I'm gonna go find Anita. So excited to see you, room. I am, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited and nervous. And I'm sure they do a great job because they're pros. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. I'm Anita. I've been spending the day with Peggy, and you must be Peggy's family. This is Mary yes. and Priscilla. Hi. Hi. So we have a little special gift for you that I wanted to give you all. And it's just a little puzzle that oh. we had made for you. Oh, isn't that amazing? Husband. Yes. Isn't wow, that cool? is that nice? Very yeah. cool. That is nice. Very Thank cool. you so much. Oh. We might have Perfect. to frame this. No, we gotta find a place for that in my room. Yeah, we Is will. Is that gonna mess up the decoration? No, not at all. It's <laughs> gonna add to it. That's really nice. That's beautiful. Well, Peggy, it's been such a fun day getting to know you. Sisters of a different mother, they say. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Well, Stephanie has been hard at work all afternoon. Thank you for everything oh, you've you. done. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yes, I'm sure you are. So are you ready to go in and see what I she's ready. working? I okay, am ready. Okay, let's see what she's worked on all afternoon. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. I've Aww. never had drapes. I love it. It's so beautiful. I love the lamp. Mm -hmm. I never did like that other lamp, but it served <laughs> purpose, and that's even better. I can sit there and do my puzzles. Yeah. And did you notice your dresser, right? That's new, Stephanie, yes. right? Yes, it is. Oh, my, <laughs> yes. I like that. I didn't like the other one. I didn't like the dot color. Oh, I love that. So, Stephanie, why don't you talk us through some of the design choices that you made in here? Oh, I would love to. Peggy, because I know you like pastels, and you like color, and you have such a fun personality. I wanted to bring in that maximalist look. I like to mix in old and new. I went to a vintage store and got some oh, older I love pieces. It. Well, I love the footstool. Isn't that nice? And the carpet. I would never pick that carpet, but I love it. Oh, good. good. So yeah. Nice. I see the boxing gloves. Oh, yeah. Why don't Where'd you tell you us that? about the boxing gloves? Where did you get oh, that? So I made that for you. I painted it. That was my personal touch, a gift to you. You did a beautiful job. Oh, good, I'm so glad. I love it. It's so pretty. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Wow. It's oh, gorgeous. Isn't that cute? I love this table. It has a nice, serene feeling. And look what's over the bed. The boxing glove. Nice touch. Yeah, very nice. I love everything about it. 
Stephanie gave Peggy's apartment a total refresh with vibrant prints and new furniture. These lively updates now match Peggy's larger than life personality. For more resident stories like these, come back for more episodes of Make It Mine.